If you want to break into product management, associate product management role is probably one of the best position for you to get started because the job requirement doesn't require any prior product management experience at all. However, this is considered one of the hardest role to get in. In this video, I'm going to demystify the path to associate product manager starting from the salary, what kind of people qualify for associate product manager, the interview process, and how to stand out from the competition. Make sure to stay until the end of this video where I share with you the interview questions and answers to Google and Meta RPM and APM program. Hey guys, this is Dr. Nancy Lee, a direct product and feature in Forbes. I've helped thousands of people land the dream PM job offer in fan companies at Unicorn Startup and continue to get promoted as a product leader. In this channel, we talk about tech trends and free product management training. Like and subscribe to our new video every Tuesday. I've helped lots of people landing those associate product manager roles in tier one companies such as fan company as well as Unicorn Startup. But lots of people are quite confused. Why on others they are rejected among all the tens of thousands of applicants? One of the key reasons is that they don't know the application requirement that makes them automatically rejected. First of all, let's get on the same page regarding what does a social product manager do. A social product manager, APM, is working alongside of product managers to do market research, voice a customer interview, helps them to prioritize product features, and analyze product insight. So ultimately, they're working on all the product management function, but they're relatively entry level with the guidance and the mentorship from senior product managers, which is also a great opportunity for personal growth. Now, let's talk about who should apply and why people automatically get rejected. First of all, based on the job application, regardless of your background and regardless you have product management experience or not, everybody is welcome to apply. However, this is specific years of experience requirement. Usually, they accept application as long as you're a fresh graduate or recent graduate based on the job description of Google APM program from last year and they allow you to apply for this position only if you have less than two years work experience in total and you have less than one year product management experience and the job description right here said if you have more than one year product management experience you should apply for normal product management role instead of associate product manager role and in addition different companies prefer different type of background for example Google Google like two things. They like entrepreneurial experience and they want people to know how to code. However, for Meta, the job requirement said they want someone who knows analytical skills and it doesn't matter your MBA or you know how to code at all. So different companies have different kind of preferences. And if you are somebody who's been working for three years and five years as a data scientist, you want to become a product manager, you try to apply for APM or IPM program for Meta, Google, Apple, this kind of tier one company, it's extremely likely you're overqualified because you already have more than five years work experience. And if you're a recent MBA graduate, I suggest you apply for Meta RPM because this is a rotational program and on the job description, they said that you can have business background or technical background. Both are welcome to apply for this role. I literally have lots of fresh MBA students landing RPM interview opportunities at Meta. But if you're someone with coding background, such as you study computer science, and you should take advantage of your unique background and apply for Google APM directly because literally on the job description, they said they want people who knows how to code. However, coding is not a differentiating factor at all for majority 99% of companies over there because they are looking for someone who has a passion, entrepreneurial experience, who is able to really create product from zero to one. And on this website, they have a list of 50 different kind of companies. They hire a social product manager. They all have preference of different background. So therefore, I recommend everybody go to the website in the link of description, check out all the 50 different kind of companies that are looking to hire people just like you. Another important thing everyone wants to understand is application timing. For tier one companies such as Google, Meta, and Amazon, all those companies, they start application at the beginning of August and only open application within two weeks. And then by the end of August and beginning of September, they start interview process right away. If you want to go to tier one companies, APM and RPM program, I want you to immediately get your resume ready and interview process started because 
the window of getting into these companies is extremely short. On top of that, whenever there's interview opportunities with those tier one companies, you must capture the first interview opportunities as soon as possible because I literally have students who went to the final interview with Apple around the beginning of November and the recruiter said, you already moved to the final interview. However, because Thanksgiving since got delayed, when the recruiter came back from vacation and recruiter said, you know what, the APM position is already filled. Even if you pass the interview, but the timing doesn't work. So therefore, I recommend everybody immediately get your resume ready, start your mock interview process right away so that you'll be ready when the limited time opportunities arrive in front of you. Most people doesn't know how to write the keto plan manager resume and make sure to go to this website where you can download the plan manager resume template that been used by 14,000 plan managers out there. It's going to get your foot in the door much faster. I'm gonna link it in the description of this video. Now let's talk about associate plan manager salary. And even if this is a fresh graduate position, it's literally getting paid as high as someone who is very senior. This is crazy. Really depends on the type of companies you're about to join. For example, if you join Google as a social product manager and on their website based on the job opening last year, they clearly state that the base salary of APM Google is between $99,000 to $144,000 per year. And plus bonus and plus equity, and your total compensation could be well above $200,000 per year. If you're looking for Meta RPM program, which is a rotational product management program, it also get even higher than Google. The base salary is about $150,000 per year, plus equity, plus bonuses as well. Why get all those information? First of all, they post in the website, and I also know my student who received those APM RPM offers. Of course, some people ask me, hey Nancy, what if I cannot join those fan company because the competition is too strong? What if I join any other company the APM? So if you join APM for a startup company, the lowest salary I heard is $85,000 per year on the East Coast company for APM. Of course, when you join the West Coast company, even if for the same type of company, it will be about at least 10% higher than the East Coast. So which add up to about like $95,000 per year. I remember when I started with my PhD and landing a systems engineer job from about 10 years ago, my salary at the time is about $95,000 per year with a PhD. So think about it, if you're fresh undergrad and become an APM, even for a startup company, you can still get paid as high as with a PhD. So that's why this is definitely a lucrative position and also with fast track to leadership. If you find all the inside information very useful, make sure to like this video and let's continue. Continue. Number four, how to stand out from the competition. Based on the job description of Google APM, you have a clue what they're looking for. Google said, they're looking for entrepreneurial individual with strong technical understanding, product sense, analytical abilities, and the clear communication skills. The key word here is entrepreneurship. Because entrepreneur is someone who is able to start from scratch and leverage limited resources and really quickly find a product market fit. This is the exact same kind of responsibilities as a product manager working for big tech companies. So therefore, everyone must start to build the entrepreneurial project on the side to demonstrate your entrepreneurial capabilities. Even on the job application page on Meta RPM, there's a session on the job application saying that your portfolio or website or GitHub directly on this link. So it's a way to really demonstrate you already build something on the side as an entrepreneur. Therefore, if ever you were trying to go after those those big tech companies or unicorn startup for those APM, RPM role, I strongly suggest you immediately build your product portfolio and demonstrate your entrepreneurial capabilities and by building a product, your MVP on the side. And on this website, I have recommended 13 different kind of projects you can work on to create your product portfolio. You can go to this website. I'm also going to link it in the description of this video so that you can start right away. One of the very useful tools I discovered when building your product portfolio and demonstrate your entrepreneurial and product management hands-on experience is by using a tool called Fibery, which is quite similar to Notion, but you can see this as a Notion product managers with AI supercharge. When you go out to build your product portfolio, the first thing you do is to conduct a voice customer interview. By using the Fibery tool, you can upload your voice customer interviews, video, or voice recordings to the tool, and then it's going to automatically transcribe the conversation with the timestamp. And then there's also an AI tool help you to identify, well, there's a great insight in this voice customer interview that can link to specific features that you plan to build. Then you can create a mind map of different kind of features and ideas based on the voice customer 
customer interview. You can also use prompt engineering and leveraging the existing AI feature to help you map out different kind of features and requirements and eventually turn into a very adjustable product roadmap. And I really enjoy the user experience. I recommend everybody to check it out. Number five, associate product management interview questions. The API interview questions are considered one of the hardest interview questions because everybody, as long as you have less than two years work experience, you can apply for this role. And the entire competition is extremely strong, so they must make the interview questions extremely hard, such as make the question a little bit abstract. There are four types of APM interview questions I want everybody to get prepared right away. Number one, what's your favorite product? This question sounds extremely easy. However, most people don't know what product to pick and how to talk about your favorite product with customer empathy and passion. I have a simple answer to this, what's your favorite product question in this video right here. Second, it's part of design interview question. For example, design a microwave, which is quite a very abstract. And another API interview question at Google, design a newspaper distribution product for elderly people or design an Uber app for blind people. All this part of design interview questions are extremely challenging, so I want everybody to start prepared and do lots of mock interviews before you get ready for those interviews. And my simple answer to design Uber app for people with disabilities, and in this video, make sure to follow the step-step guide to get ready for these part design interview right here. Number three is analytical questions. For example, they will ask you a question like, estimate the number of airplanes taking off from Boston Logan Airport. Estimate how many Google speakers are getting sold every single year in the US market. In answering this kind of interview question, make sure you use the top-down or bottoms-up approach to tackle this question. And I describe more on this approach in this video right here. Number four is leadership and drive. How these companies test your leadership capabilities by asking you a lot of very challenging behavioral interview questions. For example, tell me a time when you tell your boss they were wrong. Tell me a time when you lead an initiative because you must show that you have a stronger communication skills compared with other candidates. You must answer those questions in a much shorter and concise way using the GRAIL framework I invented. And feel free to check out the GRAIL framework in this video right here. Right now, the number one thing you must do is try to create a killer product manager resume by using the product management resume template, which has been used by 14,000 product managers. Make sure to go to the link in the description of this video to get your resume ready. I've also created a full list of product manager interview questions and answers to help you prepare for any upcoming important product management related interviews. Feel free to go to the playlist right here and see me in my next video. If you find this video very insightful, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And this is Dr. Nancy Lee from PMAccelerator.io. I'm see you in my next video right here.